Tesla has begun building the largest EV production site in the world. Very little has been mentioned about this. We're all thinking about Tesla India. Is that going to happen? Thinking about Tesla Mexico, uh, Gigafactory in China is going to be doubled in size, Gigafactory in Berlin in Germany is going to be doubled in size. But I think we forgot that actually this will be Tesla's biggest factory, and in fact, the biggest factory in the world. What will it actually make? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. I am pretty pleased to see this news. We had all heard the news that apparently the, one of the reasons Tesla had not continued building this factory, now they did start production in the factory, but they only built it to a relatively smallish size, small for Tesla anyway, and then they planned on completing the rest of the factory later. Uh, we heard all these kinds of rumors like Tesla was struggling to find enough staff, so it couldn't get enough people to work in the factory. All of that I don't believe was actually true because now Tesla is saying they have broken ground. Tesla has actually broken ground on the largest section of this factory. It's being expanded right now. So Tesla have finally moved forward with Gigafactory Nevada expansion where Tesla will build the semi and huge numbers of 4680 battery cells. What will those 4680 battery cells be used for? Well, for one, they will be manufactured those cells with a higher energy density. They'll go into the Cybertruck and they'll go into the Tesla Semi. So the Tesla Semi will be mass manufactured at this plant. Tesla is hoping to take up uh, a huge percentage. Tesla is actually hoping to capture possibly up to 50% market share in the Semi market in the United States, which is obviously billions of dollars every single year. Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada was the first major step in Tesla's effort to secure battery cell supply for its ambitious growth. And now it's saying, you know what, um, it's finally time to get this happening. Tesla actually partnered with Panasonic initially to deploy new battery cell production capacity at the facility. And Tesla used those cells to build battery packs for its vehicles and energy storage products. But those cells are actually 2170 cells. The new section for the factory will build the new 4680 cell. When originally announcing the plan for the factory, Tesla was talking, saying the battery plant section would produce a huge amount of batteries. We're talking enough for millions of cars, 105 gigawatt hours of cells for a total capacity of 150 gigawatt hours of battery packs. That is a lot. 150 gigawatt hours of production is massive. Put it this way. The factories that Ford and GM have built in joint venture partnerships recently over the last few years, each one of them is no bigger than 30 gigawatt hours of production. They're saying this one, this site will produce 150 gigawatt hours of production. And eventually when it is finally built to its full size, which could be, I don't know, maybe two years from now, it will be the largest building in the world. The factory is currently only 30% complete. However, this is what it's supposed to look like. You can see the red section, that's what's been built so far, but the blue section is the part that will be expanded and built. And there, Panasonic will be building 4680 cells. Well, when I say Panasonic, it's a joint venture partnership between Panasonic and Tesla. Tesla hasn't expanded the footprint of the factory in five years, as it focused on optimizing production of this factory, on efficiently manufacturing what it, what it does there, but it's also focused you know, on its expansion overseas, in Germany, in China, and on its factories in Texas and now in Mexico. In January of 2023, Tesla announced a massive expansion of Gigafactory Nevada to add production of Tesla semi-trucks and 4680 cells, saying they'd ramp up and build huge numbers within the next couple of years in Nevada. Now, these are the updated images of what the final plant will look like. It looks pretty cool. Apparently, Tesla already begun manufacturing the building the car park, expanding it. it needs to be a lot bigger to house all the employees who will work there. Um, but apparently, you know, most of those employees will be robots. So, yeah. now I'm joking, but I'm not joking. Tongue in cheek, because I do think Tesla is hoping that a lot of the staff working here will be robots, and that's one way it will have an advantage over its competitors by. Uh, not having to pay staff. That's the biggest cost every organization has in the automotive industry. It's staffing costs. The company is generally known to move quickly, or Tesla is generally known to move quickly after announcing factories. But after not doing anything for a year when it first built this factory, we all thought, well, maybe it's never gonna happen. And I, th I think I thought that, I thought maybe it'll never happen. 
And I think most people did think that as well. However, we've now seen from YouTuber, I think his name's Zangler Tesla Semi Stalker. He posted a drone flyover video showing that actually Tesla has moved forward in production and apparently spoken to Tesla employees who have confirmed that yes, Tesla are going ahead with this factory. Will it really be the biggest factory in the world? Well, we don't know yet if Tesla will actually build it to its size that Tesla had planned on at the start. But if they do, if they do build what they said they were going to, which was five years ago, it would be the biggest factory in the world. And it could potentially produce enough battery packs for millions of electric cars every single year. Keep in mind, Tesla now had more of an incentive to build batteries in the United States after the Biden administration is now incentivizing battery manufacturing in the US. This makes a big difference to how Tesla can actually manufacture batteries and profit from it in the process. Thanks for watching.